Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jamal Dickerson here. And today, I'm going to drop some serious real estate game on you. You ever walk into a house and think, man, this is it. The charm, the look, it just feels right. But hold up. Hold up. Before you fall in love, there are some types of homes you need to avoid like your future depends on. Because it just might. Today, I'm going to break down the homes you should never, ever buy. And if you're serious about avoiding some costly mistakes, well, stick around. I got your back, so let's dive in. First up, we got those old charming homes, 100 years or older. Listen, I love me some old school architect. As much as the next person, the craftsmanship, the history, the stories. Nah, you don't want to deal with this. These homes come with outdated plumbing and electrical systems that will hit your wallet hard. Lead pipes, yep, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars to replace. And that knob and two wire, that's been there since your granddaddy's time. It's got to go. So look, if you're looking to pour money into fixing electrical problems, rewiring or tearing out asbestos, this ain't it. Don't let the charm fool you. These homes are money pits waiting to happen. Next up, homes and flood zones. And listen, I know what you're thinking. Jamal, I never buy in a flood zone. Yeah, but you'd be surprised how many people see that dream home in a hundred year flood plain and still pull the trigger. So no, no, no to that flood home. Now this one gets a little tricky. Flipped homes by LLCs. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with making a profit in real estate, but some of these flippers, they're doing rush sloppy work. You see some uneven molding, crooked cabinets, that's not just a cosmetic problem. That's a sign that there are some major things going on behind those walls. I, I know some of y'all love those over-the-top custom features. 500-gallon fish tanks, secret hideaway rooms, man caves with all, all the bells and whistles. Look, I get it. It's cool for a minute. But in a couple years, you're going to get bored with it. And then what? You have to spend more money removing it or remodeling it. Plus, when it's time to sell, those custom features only appeal to a small crowd. That giant custom kitchen you fell in love with, yeah, that's 300,000 mahogany kitchen might make it harder for you to find a buyer who appreciate it like you do. In real estate, you gotta think long term. Don't fall for the flashy stuff that's gonna cost you more in the future. All right, so let's do a quick recap before I send you off to make smart home buying decisions. Homes over 100 years, that's a no. Homes in flood zones, that's a no. Underground oil tanks, no, no. Flipped homes, that's a double no. And finally, those over-the-top custom features that sound good, but hurt your resale later, you already know, that's a no. You gotta be smart out here. Buying a home is one of the biggest investments you'll ever make. So don't just go for what looks good on the surface. Dig deeper, and if it doesn't feel right, walk away. And hey, if you're in the market for a realtor who knows how to navigate all this, hit me up. I've got the experience, the knowledge, and most importantly, I've got your back. Call me at 804-214-6626 or visit my website, jamaldixonrealtor.com. I'm here to help you make the best decision possible. Don't get stuck with a home that's going to be a financial nightmare. Reach out to me. Let's get you into a home you'll love. One that won't break your bank.